people and churches around the globe have enjoyed the magnificent music created by pipe organs for centuries. One manufacturer that creates these organs is in the heart of downtown Champaign. The John Paul Buzard Pipe Organ Builders was established in 1985. Over the last 26 years, the store has built 39 new instruments. Wind chess constructor Ray Wiggs says this is no small task to take on. It generally takes us here about uh, anywhere from 9 months to 12 months, depending on the size, uh, to put it all together and, and, uh, and have it all done. The pipe organ builders produce organs for churches spanning the nation from the coast of California to Williamsburg, Virginia. Once they receive an order, the chief engineer creates a structural drawing that details the design and wood type to be used on the organ. We use poplar and uh, it's a very straight grained with uh, not a lot of knots and uh, it generally is uh, it's you know a good solid wood and it's uh, uh, easy to work with if you want to consider lugging around, you know, 50, 80 pound boards easy. The builders removed two floors inside the building. That created much needed floor to ceiling space in order to assemble the massive pipe organs. We have an erecting room here that where we put everything together and although it's relatively a small uh, floor space, sometimes we have to put uh, half of the instrument up and tear it down and then put the other half up and tear it down. Uh, it is a tall space, um, uh, three floors high. One vital job during the organ making process lies in the hands of Total Director Brian Davis. As part of his job, Davis figures out how big the organ pipes need to be to match the acoustics of the place where they will be installed. These are fresh from the factory in Germany and they either don't make a sound or don't make a sound that you want to hear when you get it fresh from the factory. And so we have to adjust things, tweak things and make it sound like we want to. As Davis stands adjusting the tone of the pipe with a small voicing hammer, he tries to match each one with what he calls its neighbor, the pipe next to it. I don't know if you can hear that one kind of barking a little bit. It's trying to play its octave like that. We don't want it to do that. Take away a little bit of wind and should behave now. This time-consuming labor adds to the already high price of an organ. According to Ray Wiggs, the last one they built in Raleigh, North Carolina, cost $1.1 million. It's a big organ. Uh, the number of pipes might be somewhere around 3,000 or so. And that's 3,000 little musical instruments. To an organist like Wiggs, the history and rich tones of the pipe organ seem to justify the instrument's cost and existence. All I can say is that uh, it would be a pretty dull place without music in the world, and that's my opinion, and I'll stand by that. Chloe Pistorius, UI7 News.